my friends. I'm going to continue where we left off of the wedding planning. It's a pizza. This is my room, by the way. This is where I'm staying right now. Where I work, I get free room and board kind of included in the pay and the salary. So before we get started, I'll give you a little room tour if you would like. But of course, I will section out the timeline bar into chapters if you would like to skip to the next section. Just go to the next section. So this is my cute little room. It has a kitchenette. Surprisingly, the kitchen is actually smaller than the one in the van. Tiny little sink small fridge but it's big enough for me microwave which has my pizza in it let me just get that out yum you know just like decent amount of storage for all of my kitchen things and next to it we have the closet it just has a nice little curtain it's nice to be able to spread out in this space where all this stuff in here was in the van somehow and i've probably accumulated more in my time here so we have this lovely mirror this is something justin got for me when we first started dating lovely king bed very comfortable and this is my view I do have some trees to look at and grass <laughs> and you can kind of see the mountains over there I do have a TV, which I don't watch much. This nice chair, which I added my own pillow to add my special touch to it. And these are pillows from the van as well. This really nice desk. I have like my, like some extra clothes and office type of stuff in there. And then I have this nice little coat rack. Should probably turn some lights on so you can see. The sink. The toilet the shower, you know, standard bathroom stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's where I live, or at least where I sleep and shower. I feel like I'm always moving around from place to place. But anyway, what I wanted to share with you today is I'm going to get my wedding dress altered on July 8th, which is in about two weeks. I wanted to alter the crinoline or petticoat, whatever you call it, myself because I feel like it would be very easy to do. I'm trying to save money anywhere possible. We are on a budget as always. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to be doing that today. I got these cute little stamps for save the dates and invitations. They say celebrate on them. They didn't have actual wedding stamps like they used to, but those are still cute and they could be used for anything. So this is the crinoline. This part goes under the dress in case anyone is wondering. To make it more full, this is the ball gown style crinoline. I just turned my dress into a shirt. These are the shoes I'm wearing with the dress. I already had these shoes, so I was like, all right, they're comfortable enough. So I'll just stick with these instead of buying new shoes for the wedding. So even though this is the small, it's still a little loose for my liking. I would like it to be up a little higher and tighter. I think that's going to bring it up to where it's short enough as well. Of course, we want the bottom to be a couple inches above the ground so we are not stepping on it. So if I bring it up higher, I think it's going to do the trick. And of course, it doesn't really matter what it looks like under here. My dress is poofy. It's not form-fitting around the waist, so it's okay if this is sticking out a little bit. But what I'm gonna do, what I decided to do, I think I'm just going to flip this over a few times and then sew it like this so it doesn't move. One more time. We have like three inches between the floor and the bottom of the skirt. That should be okay. And after I sew it, I'll see if I need to take it in anymore.
this is tricky. So big. Here it goes. that I've got it all sewn. I'll try it on to see how it's fitting. I think it's gonna be perfect. I don't think I need to take it in anymore. I just discovered something really fun. <laughs> I love being a girl. Some blueberries to make blueberry pancakes. I forgot to get the syrup. Oh, oh my god. I didn't bring the syrup. I guess we use uh, potato for the syrup. Alright. <laughs> potato syrup. <laughs> so we are going to make soup and eat salad that our friend Marsha gave us. Thanks, Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't see this, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and. I picked up some new ice cream to try. Black raspberry chocolate chip. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it looks interesting. So yes. I was like, uh, I know I'm gonna be craving like something sweet besides you. Hello. Uh. <laughs> you're, you had it way down to your hip too. Your foot. Your, your foot. Oh, it hurts. <sighs> I'm not there yet because I gotta lift my left, my left leg. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Don't hurt yourself. I'm not. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> We're gonna eat dinner and watch our YouTube video that I just uploaded. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's very sweet and romantic. Check out the newest addition to our monstera plant. This leaf is enormous. It is so beautiful. I love it. I made the final decision, which it's hard to <laughs> the club. It's like, there's no going back after you say yes. And even though it's- Yeah, I'm really excited cool, and it's like a very- <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking a lot. Long story long. I Beautiful. Trying to eat with your feet, babe? <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Just practicing. Okay. We're going to... We're going to straighten these locks. Going to straighten his hair <laughs> to see how long it really is. Yeah, I'm super curious. Because, yeah. I mean, kind of just, well, yeah. Good. Sometimes they're a lot tighter and it's like a perfect curl that maybe we could kind of get some B-roll one of these days. Yeah. It was beautiful curls. Yeah. Well, Justin used to straighten his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling you out. I know. I don't know why, because it's so beautiful. I know. Me either. I think it was, the straightening was because it looked cleaner, like a clean cut. Now I'm just going to uh, embrace my Steven Tyler look. Even though Steven <laughs> Tyler has straight hair. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you look a lot more gentle. Alright, here we go. Poor hair. And it's still curly. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a couple times. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna get weirder. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. I don't like it. Maybe it'll grow on me. He looks even more like Steven Tyler with straight hair. We've already done half of it. <laughs> so, like you can see the difference between yeah. like the shortness. Well, yeah. 
It's usually it's a lot shorter when there's it's the curly side. Yeah. And there's the straight side, so we will keep going. <laughs> you don't like it? You don't like it? No. <laughs> Look, get your butt in the shower <laughs> and wet that hair. Give me those curls back. I need those. I need, I need the curls. I need the curls. <laughs> there it is. Holy crap. <laughs> it is much longer than I thought. <laughs> All right, wave it around. <laughs> That was, it feels, yeah, it's so, it's so weird. It's lighter. I'll turn around. It's so weird. It looks like Fabio. Like <laughs> Fabio. Oh my gosh. Man, it feels, yeah. We're here, wait, wait, wait. We should wait. get to work like that. We should, a little volume on this. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So, what's your thoughts? I don't know yet. <laughs> like, it's just different. Yeah. I definitely like the curls better, <laughs> like a million times better. But it's nice to know what it looks like straight, how long it actually is. You did a good job of changing that hairstyle. You have a good hair straightener. I don't know if that's something to be proud that, of or... Uh... That is Justin's hair straightener, by the way. I don't have a hair straightener. <laughs> I haven't straightened my hair since probably 2009 or something. Anything you want to say? We're keeping this style. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually, I do, I do love the curls a lot. Definitely, we're looking from California now. It's longer. Yeah. You just grew like three inches on your hair. I did. <laughs> well, yeah, it was funny because it was just, she had to go over it a few times just to get the, the curls out from it. It was so thick and everything. <laughs> this is how YouTubers feel all the time. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs>